Chris a huge three points this afternoon uh, definitely I don't know it can be understated uh, boys after the game are absolutely buzzing you know it's a, it's a big weight because it's been we've been uh, we've not been performing the way we can you know we've been getting shipping, uh, poor goals and you know, I think it showed the man of the victory coming back from losing a goal to come back, the character that's in the team. And, and I think that's something that's, that's stead is in good over the past few seasons. And I thought that was evident today. Is that sometimes the best way to, to win a match, getting a, a last minute goal? Aye, so they can't go to Park Week Life, definitely. <laughs> no, it's it's a great way to win a game. And, you know, I was delighted for Simon coming on and put, put a great ball in. And Scobes, obviously, I think it was his man that scored, the, scored their goal, so he kind of re- redeemed himself for that, Scobes. Uh, but no, we're, we're just delighted and uh, it was a great way to win. And Tam Scobie went three and a half years without scoring a goal for St Johnston and then back to back home games he's, he's got on the score sheet. Aye, oh, he's buzzing in there, you know what I mean? That's two goals for Scobie, you know what he's like? He's a, he's a character in the restroom and he's always talking that. So no, I'm, I'm delighted for him. It was, a, it was a great header, really well put away. As soon as I had to say, that was like, in right behind it and it got us the three points. Uh, how crucial was that goal from David Witherspoon and the timing of it five minutes before half time? I think if it had been at half time, you know, it's, it changed the whole complexion of the, of the manager's uh, half time talk. And obviously, you get that momentum. And I thought the second half we, we were better than we were in the first half. I thought we won more second balls, more big headers. And I thought that's maybe what it didn't do as, as well in the first half. They were getting their strikers were taking it in. And, but in the second half, the boys at the back, Joe and were being aggressive and, and stepping forward and winning it. And, and we were getting on second balls in Midlay Park. And it just, it just gets that emphasis. and and pushes you on and you can play further forward up the pitch and especially pitch where you get bobbly at times you just sometimes you've just got to try and play the ball forward quickly and it's not about, it's not about pretty football right now it's about getting points on the board a big three points in terms of the, the league table because it's become so congested just now and, and that lifts St Johnson up to, to fifth place mm. no we, we, we knew that we knew that if we didn't win today we could be getting sucked the other way and, but you know we, we're confident that we can go and go on another run and kick on again we've done that over the past few seasons being in a position where we'll be fifth and sixth and you know, there wasn't doom and gloom, we were a wee bit flat this week, and we, you know, obviously you're taking stock of what's happened, but you know, that win will kick us on again, and we get into Tuesday night's against Partick, and we, we have a lot of confidence. Yeah, just in terms of the confidence, how much does a, a win, the first one in 10 games, do for the confidence? <laughs> Football's like that, it's week to week, you're up and down, highs and lows, even when you're on good runs, if you get a loss, it, it sometimes feels as if your whole world's collapsed, but you know, when you win, it, it can be a real game changer and, and give you that momentum to kick on, and that's what we're hoping it's going to do. And yourself, you came back into the starting eleven today. How did how did you feel? No, I was really, I felt really good today. Uh, you know, I've had a wee bit of a season where it's been stop start for me. It's been frustrating with hamstring, but you know, today I felt I was back to more of myself. I was getting about the pitch quite well and picking up second balls, trying to get in people's faces. You know, and to get ninety minutes, I think as well is, is psychologically a big thing for me because the past couple of games I was playing, I was I was feeling tight after maybe seventy five minutes. So for me, it's 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 brilliant. You know, we get three points, I win, and I played ninety minutes. So I couldn't be happier. And Dave, Dave McKay's absence just now. You've got the the captain's armband. How how much is that for you? Oh yeah, very proud. You know, and I, I'm gutted for for Dave McKay first and foremost. You know, he's, he's been a good teammate and a good mate of mine for a number of years, and so I'm back, uh, back as quick as, as as possible. But you know, I'm I'm, I'm proud to captain the club when when being called upon, and you know, I'll keep it warm for Dave when he's back. Cool. Just finally, what's your thoughts going into next week away to Park this one? I think you know, same again as today. A lot of commitment, fight in people's faces. You know. Try to win ugly. That's what we're saying after it. It's not about how performance are. It's the pitches right now aren't aren't very good. Uh, you know, it's just, just it's every, most of them are, are quite bobbly or, or rutted or, or soft. It's a lot of sand pallets. So it's about going there and getting trying to get another three points and push on again and get back up further up the league. Cheers, much thanks. Cheers.